All right, I'm Pat. Hey, I'm Jeffrey. I don't have to go nuts with it. Evidently. Uh, no, the doctor told me just like use it normally. Yeah. So like today at the office, I moved some boxes and shit. Hmm. And okay. like these are banker boxes, man. So you got like this two hand job. Right. Right. And so I did that a little bit today. Just cleaned out my office and shit, and my arm hurts. So. Well, are, are those the like the classic boxes, like the the mm -hmm. ones with like the wood grain? <laughs> no, <laughs> the, the Office Max ones. Oh, <laughs> that'd be great. The ones with the strings that <laughs> used to tie them shut. No. Yeah. No, not that. Oh, okay. So, yeah. So, but no, the doctor told me like he's just like use your arm normally. So, and I know when I hit my limit. So, like the other day, I ordered groceries and shit from Costco. And I was trying to pick up, like, because they bring them all to you and whatever, like, leftover boxes they actually yeah. have. Yeah. Yeah. There were a couple of them just a little bit too heavy for me, man. So, do you, like, what do you, pick? well, does how it... do you get them in the house then? Like, you don't just, like, give up, right? I took some of the shit out. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking made two trips yeah, that's a, uh, i did i did i did <laughs> yeah. so but no it's 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 weird having an arm that you've used for so long yeah uh, and then you try and pick something up and it doesn't work so, oh yeah yeah it's yeah. just like oop, it just like flips over on the side it's like oh fuck man i can't do that with this arm so i'm trying not to injure it again so no that's that's for the best yeah. it is for the best yeah. but i have been rowing so that's good rows are okay so i can like i know radio not television but i can like do this you know, where I'm pulling my arms towards myself, pulling my yeah. hands, yeah. yeah. But if I do anything where it's, like, uh, supinated, yeah. then, yeah, no. All right, so check this out. Well, okay, so, Rose, I mean, you're not... The the cool thing there is that's the the the, the arm, the, the bicep is not the... It's not the primary muscle Correct. that you're doing there, yes. right? As a matter of fact, what you're doing is you're working your back. Um, exactly, yeah. Um... It, the one of the things I saw was, um, and this is something that that I was that I was messing with was, they were talking about um, looking at this. This specifically came up because of you um, when you were talking about uh, the primary function of the bicep, right? Where you're talking about the whole purpose of it is to supinate rotate, the hand. yes, yeah, yeah, to supinate yeah. the hand outward, not even inward. Like I feel like that's actually just no, like it's it's, it's to, opening to all the way up. Yeah, and so like I got full range of motion. See, I can do that. Yeah, no, that looks yeah. good. That looks good. Yeah, it's good. It's just there's no strength behind it. If I try and like pick up a box, yeah. So I didn't realize how much supination actually mattered. So on the it does it's weird yeah, yeah, yeah the the activation you get on different things and, and so yeah i was watching a, a couple of things about um different approaches about you know if you're going to attack the bicep how do you um what's the best way to work out on this there was a guy that was basically saying like are those like like ring things that you use to do this well okay so th that may have existed but there, there was a couple of things that he was you know talking about he's like okay well here are the things that you'll normally find in your gym, or here's the machine that you can use. Mm -hmm. And basically, he said one of the easiest, well, not necessarily the easiest, but uh, uh, if you have access to these, which I do, um, is if you've seen the the uh, the dumbbell sets, right? Mm -hmm. Just the two sets that have the adjustable weights on them, right? Mm -hmm. um, which I, I got from, uh, well, it's neither here nor there, but you can basically put the weight on either side. What they said is one of the more effective ones is to basically lopside the weight. So basically you do like 10 on one side and 17 on the other side. Well, right? What do you mean by sides? Okay, so with these adjustable weight sets, right, you have a dumbbell that goes in a, uh, in I don't want to say a sheet, but basically goes, um, you have weights on this side, on this side, and the dumbbell goes in the middle. Right, and what you oh, do are those ones that you twist and you get 
like heavier weights right so you can set the weight on each side so it's like all right so i want 12 and a half click 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 right and then you'll pull it out and what it'll do is it'll take a certain amount of those little weight plates so that when you pull it up it has Got 12 it. and a half so what you can do with this is you set it to basically a lopsided uh a lopsided weight so you'll put 10 on one side 15 on the other right oh okay the heavier side goes on the inside right Got so it. that it doesn't fully counterbalance but what you're doing is you're lifting a heavier weight by cranking it this way right by supinating the wrist and the weight is on the inside so it's ah uh, got it entirely focusing on that muscle instead yeah. of doing this, which has more to do with your shoulder. Which is what everybody thinks bicep workouts are, and it does. Uh, it does. As, as a matter of fact, the, the the more the more that you have like the open grip, the the hands up grip, yeah, the better. Thumbs right? out, yeah. Thumbs out, yeah. and yeah, uh, yeah, you yeah. know, uh, palms out. See, that's what I'm so weak on is actually trying to do anything with my thumb out. So it it's just like it's it's a noodle. It's a pool noodle. So yeah. Well, that's a possibility. So I mean, if you have one of those, like you know, just especially if you're you're working back up to it, just make sure it's kind of a low weight. They said you can also do this. I I tried this. I'm like, uh, uh, I didn't feel like I had control of it. But basically, they said you could also grab the end of any dumbbell and do it like this. But oh, I just rotated that. Like yeah. Uh, but I mean that's it. That's your grip right there. It feels weird. It feels it like totally feels weird. Yeah. But I mean that's that's certainly something where you <laughs> well, know. Well, hey man, I've just been doing rows, so and those are easy because I just hang on to the bar. So and I use my back. You're right. I use my back to actually pull that. Well, everybody does. This is what you're supposed to do. Well, yeah, but you know, like that's what he told me. It's like, well, work yourself up to the point in time where you feel comfortable with this, but be careful. So. And he was totally right about that because there's certain things I pick up and I try and supinate it. Uh -huh. So like with grocery bags, wow. I can't do it, man. So it's it's fucking pool noodle strength. So yeah, you got to do something then. Like, it's it just <laughs> honestly, man, I just don't want to injure injure it again. So no, of course not. Nobody yeah. does. Do that. Yeah, yeah. Just I I and I can tell like like getting a little bit sore here and there. That means it's healing so on a certain level so it means that i'm using it and so i've been doing that a little bit and just like a couple days just like fuck man so can't can't pick up that box <laughs> so no no but you this is the 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 this is the part that's really unfortunate is you're, you're walking a line where if you don't and so i know it's sore the problem is it's already been in basically atrophy for oh bro like this here this is all scar material and th so this is not this is not television right right this is all scar right here oh. yeah and so it's just like dead dead flesh so yeah i mean it's not necrotic so you don't have like fucking maggots on it or some shit but <laughs> no, shoot you, you said it's not fingers. yeah you said it's not uh television so you know you say yeah, dead yeah, flesh yeah, yeah. you know um no but it's i i can i can tell it's 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 hardened up like scar wow. yeah 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 but this is the so. tough part is yeah since it's you know been underserviced and had to be in order to heal right this is the thing <laughs> where yeah you you sort of have to push it but you don't want to. It's it's uh, so. I mean, but it's, it's so fragile. Oh. So yeah, you got to be cool with it. So anyway, that's what I've been doing. So I've been focusing on rows lately, just to like, like, get a little bit of strength back in my shoulders. So no, yeah, dude. If if I were you, I would like I would just rotate a five. Okay, I got yeah. a five. Yeah, I would just rotate a five. Just rotate. Yeah, at at like ninety degrees. Okay, I can yeah, do that. About ninety yeah. degrees. All right. And uh, let me try that. Yeah. Well, I got fives. I got two and a half. So good. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'll try that. And so the the basic rule on that this is the the thing that I've been learning here is uh, uh, do it until until the the form uh, stops. So like as soon as you can't do it cleanly. Okay. Right, and you're like okay. In order to get another rep in, I'd have to push it. I'd have to, like... Or use my shoulder to flip it around. Absolutely. Yeah, got so it. If yep, you, got the it. second that the form starts to fall apart, that's when you stop. Okay. 
All right, man, I'll do that. I blew yeah. up both my fucking shoulders like five days ago. Did you? Being a fucking idiot. Yeah, because they're already... You're trying to lift, man. <laughs> it's... it's. So both my shoulders are impinged, and it, that's just from, like, years of use. What does impinged mean? Ugh. All right, so... Yeah. <laughs> no, man, all right. Oh, so... my God. <laughs> all right. What does that mean? Oh, I'm curious. What that means is... Okay, so in the... the in the ball joint of your shoulder, mm -hmm. right? All right. So if you rotate it around, there's there's basically some room for for movement. You can hear it. You can feel it rotating. Right. Do you get that popping. Well, that's kind of where that comes from. Is like so if you don't have like the the flexibility, if you haven't been stretching it out, if you haven't been doing that kind of stuff here, the the ligaments that basically wrap around the ball joint, right? Mm -hmm. Um they'll get inflamed they'll get tightened and basically what will happen is the joint itself is going to get tighter because of compressed mm -hmm. mm -hmm. and that's where you hear like the clicking and the popping and the snapping right oh man i have that terrible yeah it's not awesome um it's it in fact it kind of is it painful oh yeah oh okay yeah and so, so mine's not painful yet so yeah so what what happens is um <laughs> Because what it does is is now that that you're moving right okay mm -hmm. if you're pushing something the ligaments in there basically they'll get caught right what on bone spurs or what well basically yeah like on the yeah, bone okay. in there right so if you hit it in the right way right and you're you know pushing something up like this or whatever right um it'll it'll catch that and it's basically like it just rubs it like, oh it really just flicks off yeah, yeah. got it. um yeah and it was, i was in the position where uh you feel it okay yeah. you feel it and you hear it pop right and you're not like oh shit my my shoulders are busted it just hurts but you're like the other problem is well normally you'd come down with it but you're like was this you doing bench presses wow. or, yeah yeah there's certain things that that if is you, that the way they want you to do inclines or that's part of it is is uh, do Got inclines, um, but the the problem is the doing inclines is you're hitting a different area. You're hitting it. Correct. Yeah. And that's fine because fuck it, I, I don't have a choice. But because uh, uh, <laughs> that was the thing is like, but I have to get it up in order to put it back on the on the rack. So as much uh, as you want to stop, you have to just like tough through it and put it back. And then yeah, it it, it fucked them up for like five days. I, I just like had to leave them alone. So what do you do then? Take ibuprofen and just call it good? Uh well for me, no. I'm I'm a moron. So I, I was like, all right, well, I have to finish out what I'm doing. Um why don't I just take a couple of plates off here and, and uh we are so that doesn't make you a moron, man. So. No, it does. Because I know better. I, I know it's it's something that that uh It's something that, that you, you know better. It's it's when it hurts, you're supposed to stop. You are supposed to stop right there. But you're not giving it satisfaction. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, that's uh, right. you know many yeah. times it's, it's it's not it's not it's just dumb. It's all right, man. So well, you know, and and sometimes if you have a a good head of steam going, you're just like <laughs> I'll deal with this later. So I'll, I can get through it. It'll yeah. just it'll hurt later. That's fine, but. So I had to take those uh, easy for like five days, but yeah, that's that's why I was looking up a lot of things, and so yeah, yeah that's that's uh, yeah. why half of my YouTube feed is is you know fitness shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody could look at this and they're like, you know, look at the feed and all these like shirtless men. I was like, what are you gay? You know, that's fun, <laughs> and and. Uh, um, <laughs> Oh, man, my YouTube feed this week has been fucked up. Why? Oh, I don't know, man. I got back on to GunTube. <laughs> Did you watch anything cool? Uh, no, but I kind of want a pistol grip shotgun again, so I don't know. I thought you hated those. So they have these other ones that are like handle grip. So, oh. yeah, it almost looks like something that's sawed off, but not like, you know posting up like this yeah fucking like combat shotgun shit. exactly yeah well is part of it like does a pistol grip shotgun work better if you're actually using like 
a more sensible gauge. Well, that's what I've been looking at. Give me uh, a twenty gauge. Uh, yeah. Uh, so, because they still put holes in the people. Right. So, but I'm not worried about it in my neighborhood. But so, like, all my guns in my house have no ammo. So, or the ammo that I do have is locked up, because that's my my philosophy. All right. So, <clears throat> I have guns in my house. I have very little ammo. The ammo that I do have is combo locked. So, and the reason why I bought it was because it's rare ammo for like my 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 Colt forty five. Yeah. Yeah, and so it's expensive. So I keep it locked up in, in an ammo can, and there's a combo lock on that. So, but like just like quick access, like shotgun. Yeah. I've been watching some shit, man, and it's like. That looks pretty fucking cool. So, yeah, yeah. I get a twenty gauge. So not a twelve gauge. I don't need that. So, but yeah. So like my my primary home defense weapon right now is a fucking machete. So I have a big one. <laughs> so yeah. What's the my, mine's? Uh, I I do wield a uh um. A miniature sky socks bat and a lead pipe. <laughs> well, that works in clue, so sure. Yeah. Well, the pipe will fuck you. Up. It's 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 <laughs> solid right, metal. Yeah. It's not empty in the middle. It's it's uh. No, I, I mean I'm not worried about that much about home defense. So just you know, so like I threw a whole shitload of ammo out from guns that I don't shoot anymore. Yeah. So yeah. Are, you, are, are these ones that you even have? Oh yeah, no, oh, okay. I have them. Yeah. yeah. So, but like, someone's getting green. So, you don't put that in the regular trash, do you? No, there's a place you can take it down okay. to. Yeah. Yeah, it's not like paint, man. <laughs> Pour it down the toilet. <laughs> It's just like I don't need this much ammo, man. So, well, if you're not using it, I mean, that's the correct. That's unfortunate. Do Do you wish that you could go out shooting more? Is it something that you? Well, I do it every year. So, and usually I chew through as much ammo as I have, and then I order new stuff. All right. So, but like the last couple of years, the ammo's been so freaking goddamn expensive. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. So that I bought a shitload of it last time. But it's only for one of my guns. Which so, one? Oh, my my peacemaker, my forty five. Okay. Yeah, I got a lot of ammo for that. <laughs> I say, yeah. It's... <laughs> so, but it's just fun. It's that's that's just fun plinking ammo. So right. yeah. So, but like the other stuff that I used to have. So like I gave my father in law my shotgun like five years ago. What's um, a Remington? Yeah. You gave it to him? I did. Yeah. Because he asked for it, or you're just like here. he was all worried about home defense. So I was like, "Here, I got you covered." <laughs> so okay. yeah, okay. So it's never come up, but now I'd like to get a twenty gauge again. I had one when I was younger. It was a good. It was a fun gun to shoot. Well, that's not gonna. Yeah, that's that's not gonna blow up your shoulder or anything, you know. Oh no. Yeah. Oh God, my brother's got this like twelve gauge brownie. That, I mean, you shoot down airplanes with it if you really wow. wanted to. So it kicks like a beast. I was like, whoa, what's wrong with you, pussy? And I was like, your gun sucks, bro. <laughs> no, man, the fucking, <laughs> this is ridiculous. I mean, this is, uh, you know exactly what that is. This is this is like the fucking, like, uh, Carolina Reaper pepper of. of totally is. Yeah, totally is. It, it yeah. is. It's, 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 no. Yeah, there's no butt plate on that gun. So, yeah, no, it's just like, oh, it's great. It was like, this gun sucks, man. I know how to shoulder a firearm, and, you know, that thing almost like dislocated my shoulder, so fuck off. Right. Yeah, with that. Yeah, no. Nah. No, that's 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 a little bit ridiculous. I mean, again, if you're having fun with it, I'm not going to fault anybody for, you know, buying what they want, but. I just, I, I feel like you're walking a, a razor thin line of like, all right, so what's your usability on this? You're going to be afraid to shoot this if someone's in your house because you're like, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Well, and it's got like a 28 inch barrel, man. So it's yeah, ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, no. That's so, absurd. So, no, I've been looking at like 
couple of these like 18 inch barrel shotguns so on stuff you know just something like light and easy to use and that's 20 gauge man so yeah dude i was looking at something even smaller than that 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 was lever action i was like 10 i think so yeah mm -hmm. yeah i was like that actually looks like like a lot of fun oh they're way fun to shoot yeah 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 way fun to shoot so but nah i mean it's just one of those things where it's like nobody breaks in stuff like that man I'm not gonna shoot a guy in my yard <laughs> <You know? laughs> we talked about last week <laughs> not buying any claymores <laughs> Yeah, you see some dude out there trying to put up, like, you know, vandalize your yard by putting up, like, a Black Lives Matter sign or something. You blow them away. Like, I don't oh, know, man. man. I don't think I'd feel like, right oh, about yeah, that. No. Oh. Dude, I did see the Trump truck driving around the other day. The Trump truck. Huh? So, apparently here in Colorado Springs, there is a, <laughs> a fucking flatbed Dodge Diesel. So, that is flying, on like, 40 flags behind it. Yeah. So... And the funny thing was, I was going to pick up my daughter, and they set up a new school zone up there, and this dude just blew through it at like 60 miles an hour. I was like, bro, come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> so, but he, man, he had them all out there. So, and his whole truck has got all these signatures on it and shit. Really? So, yeah, I know, man. It was pretty impressive. It was just like, oh, yeah, it's election season. Yeah, I forgot about this. <laughs> Dude, I remember for years I used to laugh at this dork that I'd call Laker fan number one. You probably know exactly what I'm thinking about, where mm -hmm. it was this guy who was flying three flags of, of California teams out of the back of his truck. Most prominently was this gigantic Los Angeles Lakers flag, um, but also, like, so that would be dead center right yeah yeah, yeah 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 and uh like i mean there's a very like 90s homosexual word that i would call that guy but uh <laughs> eventually just settled on, on, <laughs> yeah, i just right, settled right, right. on 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 laker fan number one and uh you know these are the people you know same thing goes with the trump truck again i'm not i'm not I'm not trying to pigeonhole any group, but I'm just saying that like anybody that's advertising their message that hard is just. Oh, this guy was way into it. I I do have to give him some props because the the Gadsden flag was not prominent. So was it there? No, wasn't there at all. No, huh? it wasn't there at all. It was all Trump flags. And a great big American flag, and then a little tiny like white one at the top, which was white with a blue cross on it. I don't know what that I'm is. Like... I don't know what that is. Finland or something like that? No, not quite. I'm, I'm curious if it's a like, Christian national flag. So, But I have to go Google it and see. So, But it was the top good one. Good question, yeah. Because I, I know that like, the, the, the Blue Lives one is, is like the black and blue American flag. Right? Oh, God, no. My neighbor... I got a neighbor who flies that every day. Okay. Yeah. yeah. yeah not so that that's one. not it. All right. Shit, man. My wife has a hat. It has that on. Does she? It. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, or a Blue Lives Matter. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. she's got a hat. That's the one, right? The well, black... it's 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 an American flag with white and black stripes, but then there's one blue one. On uh, okay. So Blue yeah. Lives yeah. Matter. Yeah. I mean, that's like so. Twenty twenty though. <laughs> it's totally different now, man. So yeah. Well, I mean, you know, you you can. You can look at the other possible things that used to be seen as threatening was the, you know, like the Punisher skulls and the... Uh... Well, those are a thing, but they, they, they're they so passe now. Yeah. So especially the Trump Punisher skull, which was great. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. No, no, man. This guy just had like Trump 2020, 2024, like all this stuff. And it was like... It was a Dodge with the the uh, the the flatbed behind it. And yeah. He had probably about like at least a good 10, 15 flags flying off it, and like all these signatures on his truck and shit. It's just like rolling around the neighborhood, you know. It was like cool. So, you know, but it just reminds me of what's coming this fall. So we're gonna see a lot of that. So. I feel like we. I don't have any problem with it. it. Yeah. No. I mean, it's it's almost like tame now. 
So yeah, I, I feel like I feel like election season doesn't stop. You know, this is yeah, okay, yeah. It's to me, it feels like election season isn't. It's it's not the state fair. It doesn't you know come by <laughs> once a year. Um, you know, and you start here. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah, you'll you, get yourself some funnel cake. Yeah. <laughs> it's not something that they start advertising like four weeks in advance so you get prepped and say, Oh, okay, the fair's coming, right? Right. Um you're gonna catch a show at the original course no, grandstand. Fair comes to you. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um No, it, it feels like you know, with the with the connectivity that we have that election season is four years long. Maybe three and a half. As a matter of fact, I think the campaign actually starts pretty hard after the election. Um, well, the last three or four elections for sure. Yeah. yeah. No, I got yeah. you on that. Yeah, I don't know, man. It was just the first one that I saw in a while. So it's been a couple of years. So this is someone rocking around with uh, either the Trump flags or the uh, Gadsden flags or anything like that. I got a Gadsden in the neighborhood. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, you've seen yeah, it. No, yeah. Oh, yeah, right up here. But no, you still no, have no, a BLM no, no. flag oh, okay. right up here. Yeah. BLM's up there. Gadsden's down yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Whatever. We'll do Well, it. it means that my neighborhood has diverse opinions, and uh, I respect that. <laughs> right. So no, I I respect the opinions, not the actual diversity. That's that's all. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. There you go. No, it's just the first one I saw in a while. So we used to have flag man who rolled around in his like fucking red helix or whatever it was. So what? What is that Toyota like fucking truck? That they usually mount machine guns on and stuff. Yeah. So. <laughs> oh, that one. Yeah. Yeah. No, and he had the POW yeah. MIA flag and yeah, the, the yeah. Marine Corps flag, yeah. and he used to be all around in the neighborhood and stuff. He's probably a painter or something, you know. So I haven't seen that dude, but so this was the first one that I'd seen in a little bit. So, all right. All yeah, right. yeah, that's fine. <clears throat> I didn't see anybody sign like somebody's truck and paint pens before no that's, yeah that was a little that's bit interesting well he's into it i guess that's fine yeah just don't blow through a school zone man it's a bad luck it seemed like that was <laughs> that, that was the issue yeah and i saw that mm. you were um you know sending pictures and and all this stuff you got kids growing up and yeah just be cool man yeah it's all right you get one vote i get one yeah. vote it's all good yeah, that was funny. That that picture of your daughter, she's uh um like your face is right there. It's creepy. What the angry one? No, no, your your features are are oh, really? prominently featured. Oh, yeah. Lord. Yeah, it was it was it was weird. <laughs> it, it the as soon as that hit, it was like looking into this uh like bizarre mm. alternate universe uh timeline where Whatever butterfly effect happened in the past, where you were, <laughs> you were a teenage girl. Um, that's what I saw in that face. Yeah. I was like, "Oh my god, it's this is." This well, is... yeah, I saw a lot more of her mother in that one. So a little bit, but I mean, like she has. Oh my! She wife has was... your ears exactly. She does. She does. Yeah. Yeah. So, but like the attitude is the same as my wife. So at that age. Hmm. Well, even like ten years in the future. I was gonna say, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. You, you got that echo going on in the house, huh? A little bit. Hmm. Yeah, a little bit. You are outnumbered, bro. Totally outnumbered. Yeah, yeah. There's nothing in the house that has a penis except for me. <laughs> yeah. No cats. Hey, no Ryan. family members. Wow. <laughs> <You know? laughs> I didn't know it was four to one, but you're right. Yeah, actually, yeah. all the spiders are probably female too. Well, the spider, it keeps the cats, man. So, <laughs> well, they get Ed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wife, daughter, two cats. Yeah, they're all Wife, they're all girls. Two cats, yeah. Yeah. yeah, all of them. Yeah. That's okay though. No. So, did you did you actually attend that event, or did you just pick her up? Uh, I picked her up. Okay. Yeah. You don't want to go. That's weird, man. You don't want to go like 
chaperone my own daughter to her first dance? No. So that was a dance. That was a dance. Oh, I thought that she was went a... to a legit dance. So yeah, I thought that uh, I thought that was a a performance. I thought it was ah, a... oh no oh, no, oh, no oh, that oh, was her oh. first dance. So yeah. Wait, how old is she? Twelve. Yeah. So seventh grade. Oh, okay. So yeah. that would be middle school. Yeah. Okay. Well, actually, all right. So that would have been my sixth grade. Yeah. Yeah. Did all you right. go to seventh grade dance? No. Didn't think... have one. Oh, I thought we did. I remember going to eighth grade dance and feeling like completely out of place. So, um, that was the entire middle school experience, though. Correct. I mean... Yeah. Well, I was junior high back then. Oh. So I went to eighth grade. I did not go to ninth grade because I had such a bad experience at eighth grade. Well, I mean, it wasn't a bad experience. I just sat in the back and, you know, like, all right, someone come dance with me. That's not how it works. <laughs> no, no, yeah. no, no, no. No, as a matter of fact, that's actually a... a... I read an article about this, about uh, how... Basically, the last 20 years mm -hmm. have been telling men to be less assertive in that regard, right? Well, I was less assertive back in the 90s. No, there were some of us that were just naturally yeah. that way anyway. But uh, uh, so they, they were talking about how, like, you go to events now, you go to, like, ladies night at the bar, and they're just... Uh, it's kind of like a middle school dance where at this point... Oh, that's brutal. Really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, that this was sort of a result of, of uh, I said, 20 years of, of inundating, you know, men with, uh, hey, this is aggressive, don't do it, it's, it's you know, comfortable, blah, blah, blah. You know, and, and here's, the, here's the issue, right, is so they say, you flip around and say, like, all right, well, then the solution then is, like, all right, well, so then are the women are supposed to approach... No, right. they don't. They don't. Yeah, no. And, and this is the thing is, is as a guy, um, and nobody likes it. Okay, let me just put it this way. Nobody likes doing it because nobody likes, you know, putting that out there. But, you know, part of the thing about being a guy in this regard is that you do assume the risk, right? Sure. That's the thing. That's part of your responsibility in some senses. <laughs> is, well, that's why know. so many guys, like, fucking dial it up to 100 and send dick pics. No, yeah. Well, okay. <laughs> so here's the thing. There's, there's, there's a limited group of guys that were going to do basically whatever version of that existed before cell phones. Right. That yeah, you know you're right. It's yeah. it's the the behavior on that in that uh, percentage, and it's a small percentage. It's it's, it's like one percent of guys, right? Um, it's the same. Yeah, you're right. It's the same group of guys that get all the attention on the dating sites and stuff like this, where this is like, well, this always works. Oh, uh, it's totally like haves and have nots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I totally get it. So you know, I I totally understand that. It's that's just an evolution of what they were doing. These are the ones that, those are the ones that give the rest of us kind of a bad rap. Right, and they always have a really bad rap, but it, yes. they always have. Yeah. That's that's a, a universal thing. It's just that for some reason, in say like the past two decades, it's been okay to say all of you men are responsible for this. Right, but if you're a girl and you get on a dating site and like you reach out to ten guys and you get one dick pic out of that, all right, it's pretty easy to actually paint that across the board. Because that used to be so far out of line. Well, I mean, listen to what you're saying. That that's literally like ten percent of what oh, you no, got. Oh no, I back. understand. Yeah. So even at that, that would still be saying the other ninety percent of you are being held accountable for what that one percent did. Or that oh, 10 hey man, did. I don't know how the rest of the remaining ninety of you feel, but you know, I mean, that's got to be pretty jarring. So, I certainly wouldn't disagree with you. Right. Right. Yeah, it's like, you go to Iraq, you spend 10 months there, you only get shot at one of those 10 months. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you remember that one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, I don't know, man. That's why so many people are disengaging with social media now. So, it's just... Well... Yeah. It's just like, all right. So, it's always going to be people that just like, Fucking go and like throw it out there, whatever it is. So, well, I don't know, man. When it comes to the people, that uh, it's it's a numbers game, right? It's a uh, uh, 
if you have that that detachment to be able to look at things and say it is just a numbers game, right? Then you have nothing to worry about, right? Because mm-hmm. it, it, in that same regard, it's it's like any other aspect where you're like, um, why is this guy, uh, why is this dude over here leading in sales? Why is it this? Right? It's like, oh sure. Usually yeah. it's not because this person. I mean, yeah, they may have a little bit better technique or something like that. But what they do is they basically they work twice as fast as everyone else. They're they're not churning leads, but they're sure. yeah. They're just doing more. And so if you're just increasing the denominator, right, um, you're going to get Oh, well yeah, no, you're exactly right about that. It's increasing the denominator. You're so, you're yeah. going to get more hits in there. Well, that's what social media lets you do, especially when it comes to dating. It's like the denominator is huge now. So yeah. Right. Yeah. I don't know, man. No, it's it's a rough thing. I understand it's complicated. And I understand that terribly complicated. I understand that that one of the things that's that's happening is is roles are being redefined, and this is just part of technology. It's the same thing that goes with, um, you know, bitchy guys that says it's not really art, and so it's like no, it's not. It's a tool, right? Mm-hmm. It's it's going to change how art is done, but that doesn't mean that mm-hmm. art disappears. Yeah. Um, well, and your brother's living proof of that, man. So well, a lot of people are, yeah. Well, no, yeah. he's got an eye for art. He can use AI to actually, like, make it better. Great. Right. Yeah. Right. So, but, I mean, he's still got a discerning eye about it. You can take a look at something and say, yeah, this is bullshit. No, this is good. You know? Right. Yeah. So there's still quite a bit of judgment left in there. So. No, absolutely. It's It's just something that is evolving with what's available. And it's not something it where... Is. It, it doesn't mean the species is done. It doesn't mean that the species is fine, Jeff. <laughs> We're People circling the drain. They're still gonna bump ugly somewhere. It's fine. Yeah, it's <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Just, uh, yeah. Although they did say, uh, not they. I, I need to be careful about how the they. they? Say, hey, yeah. Which um, were they, were that three parentheses? There? No, no, no. <laughs> this was uh, uh, cite my source. This was uh, uh, an article that I read. Uh, basically chronicling the decrease in testosterone over the past, uh, like, 30 years. What's uh, going on with that? It's way down. Why? Well, um, if I were going to well, get... Well, how do you measure this? You just, like, go out and just test males? Yep. Okay. Uh, that draw blood. Yeah, okay. Yeah, um... Well, so this one, I think, is there's a pretty easy correlation that you can draw. Um, with men, uh, it has to do with weight. Oh, they get fatter, less testosterone? You actually start producing estrogen. Oh, is you, it? you do naturally uh, in, in small bits you as, do. as a man, yeah. but uh, the, the greater your weight... The, the more that you produce. That's actually why, you know, as men get fatter, that's mm-hmm. why they actually start to grow breasts. Oh, okay. And, uh... No, you're, you're fine. Uh, I'm you're, good. You're, you're fine. <laughs> so, not, not, not in television. I was just joking. No, no, no. no. It's, everybody is. Everybody is like, oh, I'm fine. It's like, are they up here or are they up here? It's like, that's that's problem. But, yeah, that's something that, that I would attribute to weight. But it is something that is notably down and that's uh that's something that 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 they feel may be sort of attributing to certain behavioral changes in society oh possible in the long run maybe (laughs) i don't know man (laughs) look they 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 had a plan to dose hitler's food with estrogen is that a real I haven't heard about this. And I know a lot about that fucker. <laughs> <laughs> That's the I'm legend. suspicious. <laughs> <laughs> in, in theory, it was to get him to reduce or, or change his behaviors, but... Ah... Uh. They were supposed to be spiking his food. Oh, God. Somebody's going to quote me on this someday. But Hitler was a pretty, pretty masculine dude. So he had very set ideas Hmm. on 
where men and women belong in society. Mm. Mm. Um, mm. He liked dogs. Um, uh, yeah, he liked do- He hated certain dogs. Well, he liked his dog enough to poison it, so... Well, there was that, uh... Uh... I know there was a dog that chomped them, and, and, uh... He ordered them rounded up and killed. I don't know about that. Yeah, it's, uh, uh... I know the last... It's, it's, uh... Elf Flanders, it's basically like a French dog, and, uh... One of them chomped him, so he was like, I want these rounded up and killed. Well, his dog was an Alsatian, so... Yeah, no, that one was fine. Yeah, but, okay. uh, right. Yeah, yeah, blue eyes. <laughs> no, it didn't. But yeah, <laughs> had very specific attitudes, very specific things. Yeah. No, Hitler had very traditionalist ideas about like what a family should look like. Right. Yeah. So I would be extremely skeptical of any claims of his homosexuality or anything like that. Um, sorry, man. I've read all four of his major biographies. I, right, I got them pretty much tacked down. <laughs> well, there's just something out there that I don't know. So, but still, at the same point in time, I mean, that's not the crux of the conversation. So, um, well, it's weird. Yeah, I don't, I, I don't, I don't think we're actually getting that much softer on stuff like that. Uh, I mean, I can see it in certain respects. So, but I like that. Well, it depends on. I guess this is the question: is is would you argue, or or would you, you know, consider that that if I if I'm gonna walk these back, you know, say twenty years, I'm not gonna. Sure. I don't want to go by generations or anything like. What I'm gonna do is is I'm gonna assign a like an arbitrary twenty year period because I would think that that age twenty is right around the time that uh, a lot of people consider, like, all right, you're, you've you entered adulthood, adult manhood, right? Well, I don't, I don't think there's much of an argument that, like, whatever our concept of adult manhood has been extended by about 10 years. That, that too. Okay, so that, yeah. that's part of it. So let me, let me do this and just kind of, like, walk these back, like, 20 years at a sure. time. Sure, okay. Do you think, all right, so 2024, so if I go to 2004, right? Okay. I say, all right. Was the expectation or the definition of a man at twenty years old in twenty twenty four different than it is now? Um. Well, I guess it would depend on who you ask. Well, I'm asking you. Yeah. Well, uh, me no. That yeah. Okay. So, um, but then again, I. I, I I cast a little bit more of a discerning eye against guys who like live with their parents until they're thirty five now, so that would not be the expectation back then. So okay, okay. How about versus nineteen eighty four? I don't know, man. I was six, so <laughs> can't really say. So yeah, I don't I I don't know. Um, different opportunities back then. So different expectations, less expectations for like a bright girl to actually do well. So you could be a nurse, you could be. Mm, okay. Yeah. yeah. So I I don't I don't quite know. So like my definition of man has always been someone who's like okay. So I guess that's it. Lay that out. Just lay that out for what are, what are the expectations of a man just in general? So the primary purpose of a man is to actually take care of his wife. All right. Yeah. So not his children. So the primary, oh. the primary expectation of a woman is to take care, or a mother is to take care of her children. So this is one of the best things that my dad ever hmm. taught me. He's like, no, no. So you're gonna love your children someday, regardless of whether they have them or not. Okay. okay. But your primary like function as a husband is to take care of your wife. So and support her in whatever she wants to do, and understand that she's going to actually support her children before she supports you. Mm. Yeah, no, and every like great relationship that I've seen in my life, that's how it works. It's a trifecta, you know, at that point in time. So where mom needs support, support for mom comes from dad. Mm-hmm. Okay, and children need support. Children get support from mom, and so dad and children's relationship is. Not incidental, 
Okay, but not primary. So, yes. Hmm. Yeah. So, a little bit different, but it's always worked for us. And so, yes, no, my primary loyalty is to my wife. So, interesting. Now, would I sacrifice myself to, you know, make sure my daughter was going forward? Of course. So, well, no, I, I can't. Listen, when it comes down to it, if the, if the live grenade is out there, right? I will eat the grenade. Yes. Right. I didn't think you were going to throw her on top of it and run. <laughs> to make sure we need to make another. <laughs> no, 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 no. So. But my dad always taught me the best thing that a man can do for his family is to show his children that he loves his wife. So. Well, that, okay, all right, so that's that's sort of, all right, now why is that? I don't know, it just worked out that way. Well, it just worked out that way, but I mean, also think about it like this here, this is this is something where, sometimes you do think... He's a primary caretaker, so there we go, so, well, yes. Well, I mean, think about it, like, think about it from, from an education level, what is it that your father is doing in that case? I don't know where you're going with that, but... Well, so at that point, what you're doing is you're modeling an ideal relationship for your kids. Oh, absolutely. Yes. Right. Yeah, absolutely. You're modeling a behavior. Yes. Um, and that's... So if you have some dude who, you know, like, you all served me, then fuck that guy. Well, so, it's, yeah. it's, it's not... Okay, so there's also that, that, that... We worked with so many of these guys. We worked with these dudes out there on Saturdays and Sundays. It's like, why are you here? Like, why are you 80 and you're out here? It's like... I have to get away from my wife, right? Well, that's all after kids are all gone and stuff. I, look, there's that. It's fine. But I also worked with people <laughs> that were like, why are you out here four weeks at a time? It's like, I have to get away from my wife. The the the, the... Yeah, but you're insinuating that that's the wife's problem. No, I'm insinuating that that's the relationship's problem. Is is Right. If what <laughs> You have met dudes that... that, that You'd ask them, it's like, why are you married? You seem to hate your wife so much. Well, right? it's usually because they have kids. There's that. Yeah. I mean, there's no one answer to that, but there's just those those people that are like constantly, like always grumbling about it. They well, always look, seem man, sad. if you have a bad relationship with your spouse, that relationship needs to end. So, uh, no, it's, I'm, it's, I'm certainly it's better yeah. for the kids in the long run too. That's so, what I'm saying. But still, at the same point in time, I've, I've met a lot of guys who use it as in a fucking excuse not to actually go back home and clean up their shit. So, oh, dude, I, I, that's yeah. that's what I'm saying. I'm not saying that the guys are right. As a matter of fact, yeah, okay. what I'm saying right. here is it's the opposite, where you are everything that you're doing there is modeling for your children what they think a relationship should be. But it's and not if about what like you, do, you that's like, what they're going to create. I get that, but it's not about you actually projecting like good values on your kids. You should walk in those good values and they'll learn from them. So Wait, you'd think that. Well, yeah, no, and I've known many people who like, oh, that's the ideal, but I don't do that because they go out and fucking fuck around with other people. Right. And it's like, yeah, okay. So I mean, I'm sorry, you've lost all your credibility in this situation. So, because if you're not happy in your own right, how do you expect your children to be happy in that? So, of course they won't. So, well, and that's the tough yeah. part. Yeah, is is the the again? It's all it's entirely observational. Is the sure. the first relationship that that kids are going to look to to see if theirs is successful or not is when their parents is their parents every single time. And if that's what you were doing, then. Well, no, but I mean, you can you can walk away from a bad relationship with having kids and stuff like that, and then model a good one after that. And they'll learn from that. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, but you know, yes, I I've known the guys who are like I I've been more married for forty fucking years. And I can't stand my wife. Blah 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 blah. It's like all right, fine. So fucking work. All right. Why are you such an asshole? So you know, go fix your shit or. Keep it to yourself. We don't give a fuck. <laughs> but that I mean, you know, you're you're raising an interesting point. I mean, I, clearly, like, so if you break somebody down like that, it's going to be like, all right. I would wager that you probably have issues beyond this. I'm not saying that that. Well, either that or like, like I'm thinking of guys like Harold. You remember Harold? Yes. He would say that just to like, just to kind of fuck with everybody around him. 
He loved his wife. Did you say they slept on different levels they of They totally house? slept on different levels, but they still slept in the same house and they were married for 50 fucking years. It was just one of these things that he said. He didn't mean it. You know, if he had meant it, he had millions of dollars. He could have walked away from that years ago, but he was just like, ah, I don't want to go home and see my wife. Blah, 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 blah. And it's like, all right, fine, man. So, you know, you, you're just hamming it up for the rest of us. It's totally all right, cool. well, okay, yeah, ham it up. Okay, yeah. I would ask you, now, hold on one second. If I recall, set me straight on this one, but if I recall, um, he was a fellow of the Jewish persuasion, yes? Harold, no. Mm, he no? was Catholic. He was Catholic? Yeah. Okay, all right. Yeah. Let that slide in. Uh, <laughs> No, he's Catholic. No, I only say that because uh, there are very within that group. There, there are are very. There can be very. Uh, depending on what group that you're in, there it'd be very difficult to get a divorce. It, he he wasn't looking for a divorce. He but loved no, his wife. Right. He just liked to talk a big game. Right. So because he'd been married for fifty fucking years. So well, on top of that, dude. I mean, he was yeah. in the military and all that stuff. I mean, you want to talk about. Talk about They're, someone who stuck with them through all that, and yeah, like well, that's just hamming it up. That and you know, again, if you're around other military, I, they're next to firefighters in terms about sure. bragging about you know, absolutely. Like, it's it's not just it's 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 not it's not who hates their wife; it's who hates their wife the most. It's it's a uh, exactly that's yes. that, that's the yeah, guys, yeah, man. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. No, that's completely different. I mean, I've seen many people engaged in broken marriages for years. You know, and becomes like like some kind of fucking. Well, I can't do this because I'd lose everything, kind of thing. There's that. it's like all right, well that's yeah. shitty, man. You know, and you shouldn't have to live like that. But hey, man, that's where you sow your oats. That's where you you, you reap your rewards, regardless of how they turn out. Well, what are you gonna do? I mean, that's the relationship that was modeled for you. I mean, that's why you're in it. Like, think about it. Like, like. The Lockhorns themselves clearly weren't happy with each other, but you know, at the same time, they to were a certain still... extent. You know, I, think, I mean, I think they like thrived like... on the on the. Well, and some people do that, man. One upsmanship, I mean, yeah. yeah, that that's fine. But there's there's a mutual respect there, and I've seen plenty of relationships that did not have any kind of mutual respect in them. Those are totally different. They're completely yeah. toxic. So <clears throat> you know, because it becomes like that's where the ball and chain kind of comes in. Yeah. So, uh, but still, at the same point in time, you have to make a decision. Like, all right, do we cut this loose and have to go rebuild somewhere else? Do it. All right. Um, otherwise, you just want to bitch at me about it. Okay, fine. So, well, and there's well, also, I mean, again, this this goes generationally. Uh, generationally, like, is is there are plenty of people where the conflict is actually what uh, brings them closer together. I know it sounds, you know, ridiculous, but it's... No, it's not true. ridiculous, man. That absolutely positively happens. There's some people who have relationships that are more fire than others. I mean, my wife and I, we've had three fucking blowout fights in 24 goddamn years. Yeah. We do not do that. No. So, no. So, <laughs> like, I can detect if something's pissing her off, like, six months out. <laughs> and we just defuse that bomb before that fuse gets that close right. man it's fine right. we'll figure it out you know and other people is like oh no that's what makes it fun i was like good for you so yeah so okay. personally that gives me heartburn and i don't have that many tons in my house no no so, well, you, yeah. you go ahead and you go ahead and buy that 28 inch shotgun mm -hmm. or whatever yeah it's it's like uh uh by all means if that's yeah. what you find fun um no, I get it. I get it. And it's, again, it's it's a tough thing. And there's absolutely no one answer to to anything like that. It's just something that um, is sort of, it, man, it's painful to see sometimes. You know, it's like, can be. you, you, you want to look at some folks and you're like, you could sort this out so easily, right? But yeah, you but don't want to. You no, don't, that's no. Not, not what, that's not what you like. No, it's the same thing with employees over the years. Every now and then you have one who just wants to bitch. And so, just oh, let him bitch it out. So he'll be good for another week, and then he'll find something else to bitch about. So, but really, what that guy's actually doing is expressing how much, like, how satisfied he is in some respects. You think so? Oh yeah, absolutely. So, give me an example. Well, it's not perfect. Brr, you know, Packers fans, a good, good, good example of this. You know, you win a few Super Bowls here and there, it's great, and you're still going to be a Packers fan. But this year is fucked up. 
But by mm. bitching yourself out about how fucked it up it is, you actually what you're doing is reaffirming your your commitment to the team. So that's fine. So people do that all the time, man. So give me another example. Patriots fans. <laughs> You lose your coach. He's been around forever. So, but probably is time to move on. Well, no, I've said that. I, I, I mean, me personally, I've said it's it's time to 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 move on from that era. I just you're fine. Me personally, I thought coach had a couple more years in him, but uh, 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 you're expressing this perfectly. Well, <laughs> no, but you're still reaffirming your commitment to the team. So, even not through bitching about it. I mean, like. You bitched about it a little bit. Well, okay. No, no, Hold no, on. no, no, no. Whoa, no. whoa, whoa. Let me back up that truck. Let me get it out of that parking spot. All right. Yeah. So I'm not parking on the handicap spot here. All right. So <laughs> it could have been better if people had actually respected him for who he was. That's not even it. Like, I wouldn't have said a word. Um, oh, unless your brother did. That's correct. So yeah, there so we go. It's, 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 it's <laughs> a, much like uh, a Lockhorns esque you know relationship. Um, there was clearly provocation going on here. Um, correct. But yes, that's fine. So, no, it, 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 do you get my point though? I do. Okay. I do. Uh, it's the problem here is 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 that section where. Like you said, it's like you talked about like that bitch employee where, you know, they're always complaining about something. Mm -hmm. And then if you improve it, they complain about something else, right? It's it's something <laughs> They'll where... They'll always find something to complain about. You, you're you're uh, perpetually, like, dis the, the joy you have is in the dissatisfaction. And, and like, I mean, there are certain things that I can say to this. Well, is, is... I don't know if the joy that you, they get derived from that is from the dissatisfaction. It's just like they're satisfied enough where they find little things to like be dissatisfied about, but they use that to actually express how much they're actually thoroughly satisfied with things. It just could be better if you did this. So does that make sense? It does, okay, yes, but but the all right. What I'm saying here is there's a group of people out there that I think part of that comes from there. There is a mentality among some folks where. They feel that being dissatisfied with something is a human constant. It's a it's a, mm, a similarity yeah. between us where if you complain about something, we all have complaints, and that's where you find common ground. Okay. Yep. Right. I'll buy that. Um, which can be exhausting. Oh, it can be horrifyingly bad. I mean, because you can't sort out people's motives. Some people just like they're fundamentally dissatisfied about certain things. Yeah. And so they're looking for commiseration. So other people, like, actually genuinely give a shit about something, and they just want it to be a little bit better. So, right. But right. those guys all mix up a little bit because they have the same common complaints. So They do. Yeah. They do. And, and yeah, again, I, I, I understand that. I understand that that's a... So, like, Harold's, like... The idea that he slept in a different floor of his house than his wife was not his criticism against marriage. I think it was probably get a better night's sleep, if I were going to guess. Exactly. It, yeah. It's much minor, but, like, you know, that did not mean that he wanted to shoot his wife. <laughs> Does that make sense? You know, but some other people who did want to shoot their wives... We're sleeping on different levels. Different now. levels. Oh, I feel you, Harold. You know? Yeah, right. 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 Yeah, okay. No, it's... it's uh... There are some I mean, they were married for 60 fucking years. So, I, I, yeah. I know, I know. I, look, there are plenty of guys out there where, yes, you can tell they're, you know, hamming it up for yucks. Obviously, you know, I'm familiar with that. It's yeah, like, he was definitely one of those It's guys. like, what were you doing? It's like, oh, I had the tape measure out. I was seeing, you know, the dimensions between my wife and the garbage chute. You know, it's like... <laughs> But, I mean, that's the thing is, you know that they're just, like, fucking around. Yeah, right? yeah. But then there's that one guy that's like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like so are you talking a medium pizza pan or a large pizza pan <laughs> right yeah. as i said when i was uh um getting into it with the with the guys at uh on the rig about uh racism 
And I made that statement. I said, you know, you know, fuck all this racism shit. It's like, we get caught up on the wrong stuff. We don't need to worry about the race. The real problem is foreigners. And then, <laughs> and then when you hear that guy just quietly like, yeah. 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 I was like, yeah. uh, yo, man, I was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got you. I didn't right. mean that. <laughs> No, I got you there. It's 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 weird, man. I mean, that's the uh, this was something I got kind of uh, um, <laughs> got into this about uh, pet ownership earlier in the in the week what, um, on the on the X. No, no, no. This this was this was with uh, uh, Marina, right? Um, because she refuses to let her husband get a dog. Um, not for any personal reasons, but uh, 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 <laughs> this is the, uh, they live on a houseboat in San Francisco Bay. Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, they live on a houseboat, and so she's like, "Well, dogs, the, 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 no, the boat's not a good place for a dog." Now, all right, I get it, and this thing is actually pretty goddamn big. I mean, they have suits of armor in it, um, but. Uh, <laughs> Okay. This, this, well, her her husband does, right? This is this. Is... <laughs> Way into the Witcher. Got it. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, he's he's uh, he's he's into that and collecting weapons, and that's uh, like as a workout and stuff like this, and and uh, um, so very eccentric, you know, stuff like that. But she's like, you can't let him get a dog because of this, and like, um. And she's like, and I, what I'm, what I'm really afraid of, she's like, is, is when we, we do get a bigger place, because we will, we just haven't decided if we're going to do that here in, uh, San Francisco or not. Okay. Um, she's like, when we do get a bigger place, I'll let him get a dog. He wants to get a Labrador. I'm like, they're great dogs. She's like, but he's going to want to let the dog sleep in the bed and stuff like that. Like, sounds good. She's like, but I don't like. I made it clear to him. It's either like, I'll sleep in that bed. Or the dog will sleep in that bed. And I was joking, I'm like, oh, your terms are acceptable. I mean that's 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 <laughs> really that's that that's that's your choice. But uh the dog will be here. And whether or not you choose to is is, is up to you. Now of course this is partially Yeah, joking. this is this is a bad idea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is playing a game of ultimatum that does not work out, but sure. No, of course not. It, and this is obviously, a, I'm, I'm just like egging this on. I'm like, I can oh, see okay. this is a point of contention. So let me just kind of poke at this a little bit. You know, because, you know, she was saying like, look, I, I, I'd i love to get a cat too, right? She's like, and a cat can sleep on the bed. It's like, how the fuck does that like logic add up, right? And, well, it's like mass, but yeah, you know, sure. Well, that's what she was saying. She was like, uh, she... She was pointing out. Oh, I can't remember the name of the cat. Um, it's the they're cool looking. They're just um, are they hairless? No. Okay. No, good. but they are the ones that's uh, fucking weird. Yeah, they 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 look like a different animal entirely. It's uh, I've seen them before. I can't remember what the name is, but uh, she's like, I, well, I had one of these when I was a when I was a kid, and and she's like, she's making a it's a, like a like a bowling ball, like, even less. Like she's like. Um, that can sleep on the bed because it only takes up this much space. I'm like, what fucking cat do you have? That's only like she's no, no. They 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 roll up in a ball and they they're, they're right there. It's, it's okay. that's all the space it takes up. It's like same thing with dog. Uh, unless the dog is seventy pounds, yeah. That one's fifty. Sasha is fifty pounds. She's fifty pounds. Wow. Yeah. Okay. She's fifty pounds, and she takes up a shitload of bed. She does, yeah. Yes, yeah. Because she, uh, she lays out. Well, yeah, well, she's got I mean, big old spindly arms. Yeah, I she does. Yeah. She does. And I mean, that's the thing is, she's always going to be locked into my side or or something like that. Right, right, right. As a matter right. of fact, I mean, she's been, she's as cuddly as it gets. But like, you know, well, to be fair, there's a qualitative difference between six pounds of cat and 50 pounds of dog so well and she's not a labrador labrador is going to have like another another 20 pounds on her good yeah yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, I don't know. Man. I, well, I mean, it's like how much uh, your personal space is this dog invading, you know, um, stuff like that. I, I get that. I mean, personally, I got a 14 pound cat who's a fucking beach ball. So, yeah, you kick them out, right? Uh, uh, no. So, okay. Kitty's just like. They get disinvited from the bed from time to time. <laughs> so, okay, so they, they collect X number of demerits, and then they're... It's not even it's outside. not even an X number of demerits. It's like, oh, no, you're you're where my feet go. Get the fuck off the bed. Yeah, so it's, it's completely dichotomous. So, yeah. It's like, no, man, this is my bed. If you invade this piece of my bed, and I want it, you're off. See, this is the, all right. This is this is where okay, and they do that from time to time, so and they get booted. <laughs> this is where depending on, this is where dogs are a little bit different, right? It's, it's depending on your your relationship, right? So mm -hmm. the thing is, the dog doesn't expect you necessarily. Like some dogs that that kind of own their owners, right? Mm -hmm. um, some dogs will have you sleep around them, right? No, not acceptable in my bed. All right. Now, yeah, no. <laughs> what happens here in this one is that, so, you know, these are dogs, and, and what they're used to doing is they want to bundle up around the, the, the big one, right? Okay. All right. So that means, I mean, that's a protective thing. So if the big dog is on the bottom, right, it's like a sign of respect for them to circle around it, right? Okay. Or on top of it, dogs. If they were, uh, if whenever possible, they would sleep in like one giant like ball. Right, 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 right. right. Yeah. Okay. So, you know, I'll get in the spot, right, and like she can like position herself in certain ways. Sometimes she's on top of me, right? You know, um, it's it's not like I own this. She's not hoarding it like fucking smog's gold or whatever. It's, it's, <laughs> you know, it's just, that's just. <laughs> That's her way of feeling like safe and affectionate. So I'm like, well, okay, I got it. I wouldn't want to take that away from her because I mean, you know, this is this is how she feels comfort, you know, and ownership. Um, mm. but then again, you know, I'm I'm thinking like, <laughs> think about like a girl. It's like, get that fucking thing out of here. Where am I supposed to sleep? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah that's yeah. uh that's uh that's a that's a you problem, not a. Yeah, that's not gonna. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's not going to work. So my wife and I have mutual ownership of the bed, and we both have veto power over cats. Right. So they do All get right. booted. So now if they sneak in, like, at some point in time and find a little spot, that's great. Unless my feet belong there. Or my wife's feet belong there. Then cats get booted. So Like, nicely? Or is it, like... <gasps> depends on how, like, much they defend it. <laughs> So they get a gentle nudge the first time, and if they scooch over, fine. But if they try and defend it, yeah, you get booted. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, no, my 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 tubby cat bites me sometimes because she likes to sleep between my wife and I. Yeah, and if I like roll over on my side, I was like, no, this is where my hands go, and she's there. I've gotten nipped a couple times. Like, nope, pick the cat up, off you go. So, like, there is, there, there, there's a hierarchy here, and you are at the bottom of it. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, all right, all right. So, so if my wife flicks my hands off, okay, fine. <laughs> we'll fight about it a little bit. So, you know. Well, that would be an accident, I presume, right? Oh, yeah, sure. All right. Well, that's why you had to get progressively bigger bets the longer we've been married. So, yeah. <laughs> So we can both like fan out either way and starfish out. It's fine. Right. So yeah, but if cats interfere with that, they get booted. What I just want you to picture there is is I want you to picture that each of those cats, right? Mm -hmm. Let's pretend each of those were forty seven pounds a piece. I can't. Yeah, I wouldn't have pets like it's that. It's like a puma. No. No. <laughs> no, then I need a stick or something. <laughs> get them off. Yeah, no. So cats are fine the way they are. You wouldn't want big cats if. if... Oh fuck no, 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 man. They gotta stay in manageable weight. So yeah, in fact, tubby cat. It's a little bit more than manageable, 
So, but I can still pick her up by her scruff and kick her off the bed. Well, that's the one that was that was fourteen pounds, right? Yeah, she's fourteen pounds. So the other one was she's twelve. Twelve. Yeah. yeah. So, but she doesn't sleep on the bed with us. So does she like? Did she, she got the idea. Does she yeah. sleep at night or does she like wander around? Um. No, she sleeps. She sleeps. Yeah, she's got her own spots. All right. Yeah, not on the bed. So she'll come up on the bed if like if I'm home and my wife is gone, she'll like sleep on the foot of the bed. So well, she likes you more, right? I don't know, man. So she's gotten a little bit more skitzy as she's getting older. Really? So yeah, no, she's way more independent. I thought uh, I the thought... tubby cat will jump up on the bed if my if my wife's not home and I'm sleeping in late. She'll jump up on the bed and take my wife's spot. So, you know, but... Is the tubby one kind of your buddy? Like, that's the... They're both my buddies. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, no. I'm cool with both of them. They just have different personalities. Yeah. So, yeah. So, tubby cat is a little bit more affectionate. Uh, stripy cat is uh, definitely more independent, but, like, sweeter. So... In what way? How does she manifest her sweetness? Well, she'll just come up and put her paws, like, on me and stuff and check how I'm doing. So, yeah. So, no, Tubby Cat will always try and get food out of me or something. Right, yeah. right, right. So, so the, the stripy one kind of, like, checks in. Exactly. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Right. So, Tubby Cat is like, hey, I'm hungry. Fucking feed me. Right. So, yeah. Right. So, no, it, it makes sense. So, yeah. I mean, you kind of have, like, a sort of like a dad and a mom there. It's like, you know. Very much so. Dad comes by. It's like, doing all right, sport? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You can yeah. talk to me if you want to. Right, no? right, right. Yeah, good. You know where to find mom's me. Mom's like, "Hey, sit down, lunch, sit, yeah, sit, sit down. down a second and talk to your mother." <laughs> yeah, never talk to me anymore. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> you want to hang out on Saturday? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We can go have cookies. <laughs> yeah. We need to plan my funeral. <laughs> oh god, yeah, dude, that 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 talk is uh, that one's fun. Uh, it just depends on on the mood of you and the person. Yeah, I've had a, but yeah, it's it's no, that's cool that they have those two personalities and like that. They are, they're very separate. So, <clears throat> yeah, now Streppy Cat likes to hang out in the living room. So with all the sun and stuff like that, and Tubby Cat. You know, she'll stick pretty close to you, so just in case you drop any food. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Ah, uh, dude. I, I dropped I, a cheese ball the other day, man. She fucking ate that. So, that's not so bad. I don't know, man. It's just one. She wanted more. <laughs> After that. Never had a cat who liked Cheetos, so... You know, I, I mean... It... It's 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 all about, you know, how many Cheetos get in the cat. Because, I mean, once you find that a cat <laughs> likes something, and you're right. like... Look, I want to constantly share stuff with this dog, right? Sure. Um, in fact, I, I caught some flack for it where it's like, you wait, you give the, the, the dog, you know, human food, you know, blah, blah, blah. Um I was like, well, yeah, um, like a, a little bit. It's like I try to give her a little bit of everything that I have. It's just like, this is the, I understand the things that dogs are not supposed to eat. So like when it comes down to it, it's not like, um, here, honey, have some of this garlic bread because I know that's so good for right, your digestion. Yeah. You know, it's, 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 it's like, I get that. But generally speaking, it's like, that's, that's pack behavior, man, is, is like you eat first. And if you have a, a little bit of this for you know the look and i get it i understand that that means that she's not always going to bring me things that she finds right i don't want that <laughs> i don't want to have a pizza <laughs> <laughs> i don't want that that's that's totally okay but uh yeah it's not uh like when you got uh your uh, was your in-laws dog to barf up all the skittles i mean yeah it's like right yeah, i yeah. found out that you like this ergo i'm gonna keep that was a bad idea i remember my mom she came over to my house once when I still had Elvis, and uh, she was like, you're not feeding this dog. I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? I feed this dog every day. Yeah. Right? And uh, she's like, no, 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 no. When I he was needs over, more Skittles. <laughs> <laughs> See, 
this, this is of course my mom she's like well no i i took a little bit of food right and i just kind of like gave it to him and he ate it so he's still hungry i'm like dog always hungry the dog will always eat yeah no i've yeah. only had a dog hit capacity once <laughs> <laughs> Just completely like, what? Ah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, man, my kids are the same way. So, yeah. Like, Tubby Cat, like, every time I cook, so I'm in my kitchen and stuff, I, like, I've got a butter dish that's always out there because I use butter in a lot of my cooking. Yeah. And just little pats of it here and there and stuff. She knows what the sound of that dish is when I pull it off the lid. Mm. And she'll mm. be right there and just like paw against the oven. And meow, 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 meow. And it's like, no, fucker. So, how do you fight that cuteness, though? I mean, that's well, that's the problem. I don't. Yeah. So, I actually feed it and then it comes back later. So, yeah, you know, to the point in time where sometimes if I just walk in the kitchen, the cat expects butter. So, but in to be fair. Right. And she is so cute when she does it too. She's just like it's so helpless. She's got those anime eyes <laughs> that just like open up and they have like eight pupils. You know? <laughs> <laughs> like a spider. Yeah, exactly. You know, and they're all like glassy and stuff. So and it's like, oh, but you're fat. <laughs> you know? That's a, I mean, that's the tough thing. I mean You know, that that's the the you know how rough that is. You you wanna if the cat comes by and you want butter, you're like, it's just, it's a small concession. You know, it's like, um, please enjoy. But well, I just give it, her a little nub, you know. But still, there's something where you know this adds up over time. And it has, because that cat is fat. Right. So, yeah. Right. She is tubby. You're like, I can't. But she's so muscly, too, man. She's the most muscly cat that I've ever had. So, but she's so cute. So, you know. Yeah. No, she's got little tiny cat paws and she just sit there and, and bat at me. You know? Listen to you. You're, no, so, man, it's you're like, so affectionate, man. It's like, you fucker, I know I shouldn't feed you this. And then the other day when she ate one of my cheesy poops, I was like, what are you doing? So, but she had it in her mouth like, oh. <laughs> like a moon pie. <laughs> I don't know where my dog picked up on this, but uh, I, I must have... Uh, I must have a couple of times, like, uh, uh, like when I dropped like a, a plate of something or, or whatever, right? Every time I yelp, right? Oh. Well, well, like whatever it is, if it's if something, like, whoa, right? Um, oh. if there's some kind of like that. Um, I guess the first ten times or so that I've done this, um, I must have been like dropping food because no matter what it is, if it's on the weight set or whatever, right? If she hears that, she thinks that like there's there's a, a ground full of spaghetti. <laughs> and she'll come charge it. Huh. So it's it's uh it's a good experience, man. It's, it a, is. it's a, it, that's a great you know what we're doing? We're kinda of advocating for like the humane society right now as well. Well yeah. Doing. Go yeah. go adopt a pet, man. Yeah. So, yeah. Nah, one of my brother's buddies, he just adopted a new dog. Did he? So, yeah, and I've been poking him for months. It's like he's got a big old house and stuff, and you know, it's like, well, I don't know if I have time. It's like you, you make time, man. So every every big house deserves at least one or two pets. So go get one. And so he went out and got one. It's like I mean, you know, like Doc could use a buddy. Maybe you can go get another. You know, <laughs> so you know, because you're gone a bunch of the day. You know, it'd be cool. You yeah. pull up your ring camera and see them playing around your house and stuff. So I'm poking at him about that too. It's like there's always a dog or a cat out there that's gonna hit the fucking jackpot if you're ready for him. So yeah, I'll just go get yeah. one. So yeah, my buddy down at the university he just lost his cat. Oh so, yeah, I know. And I'm like, hey man, the best thing you can do is you lose a pet, give it a week, go get another one because there's always one out there that's about ready to hit the jackpot and they're gonna hit the jackpot with you. So yeah. go go fucking do it. Just go get one. So yeah, last time in my my, my my softy kitty died so it was about like three days four days and i was like fuck we need to go get some more cats so because we got an empty home here there's a lot of love in this home yeah 
And I know there's kitties out there right now who need it, so let's just go fucking get some. You know, and that's the thing. It's the people that actually... Do it. That's... that's <laughs> You know, it's it's the people that actually think about, you know, like, hey, I don't have enough time or whatever, that, that end up being good pet parents. Because, Absolutely. I mean, it's not the... I know what everybody's afraid of. It's 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 that, that version of... Uh, we're not all Michael Vicks here. I mean, this is the thing. Is, and, and, <laughs> what, do you, what do you mean by and, that? And, and, and that's the thing. He, oh, oh, the dog party. Yeah, he okay. Yeah. think about, like, <laughs> oh, I don't have time for it, right? He right. would just go get like three big ass, you know, fighting dogs. Right. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Without any concern, it's the people who are thinking about it who, who think they wouldn't be good owners that are good owners. Well, that and you, you, you spend a lot of time like, you know, well, it's not right right now. I need time to heal and stuff. But the best thing that makes you heal is, you know, a new fucking pet because they need you right now. So just go fucking get it. So then you'll plug in, like, and, and it'll take your mind off the previous one. But still, at the same point in time, you'll see all the differences between the previous one and the ones you have now. And you'll appreciate the previous one that much more. So, you know, and it's just like, no, man, you're a good pet parent. You got a hole right now. Go go fill it immediately because there's always pets out there who need you. And so somebody's going to hit the fucking jackpot today. So go make their day. So well, that's it. I that's mean, all, that's all in you. So go do it. You know, when you, when you when you have baby talk with the with the animals, right? I mean, mm -hmm. you know, you don't you don't think about it that way. You correct yourself sometimes. You're just sure. kind of like, well, oh, who's the best dog in the world? It's like, yeah. well, I've been lucky enough to have like two of them, you know. And that's uh, um, it's it's not something where you're gonna sit there and and <laughs> you're not some kind of like. Um, stodgy New England family where you're like, you're not living up to your <laughs> her, 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 to the namesake her, 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 of, of, of this family yeah. and, and our expectations. Uh, you got lucky to be here, son. Right, yeah, yeah, right. right. Yeah, yeah. So, exactly, no, yeah. Man. No, man, there's always pets out there that need homes. So, yeah. Um, no, it's the best decision that we've done. We've done that the last couple times. So. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Huh. Yeah. I, don't know. I mean, I'd have more cats. I, but you, you hit your bandwidth at a certain point. I was like, yeah, all right, we're good. <laughs> As I've said, man, it's this is this was uh, one of the the most important life lessons I learned. Is is you know I talked about it with you. Um, you can juggle three balls. Mm -hmm. Maybe you can juggle four. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. But here's the thing is when you try to throw the fifth one in there, the whole thing falls apart. You could fuck a lot of things up. Yeah. And it's not as though you drop one ball because you're taking one too many on. You drop the whole you thing. Drop all of them. Yep. So when it comes to dogs or relationships or whatever, <laughs> yeah, um, you know how many balls that you can mm -hmm. juggle. Mm -hmm. And do not get like six dogs if you can juggle one. Right? Mm -hmm. Just get the one. Just get the one. Just get the one. Yeah. Yeah, because things are always going to be thrown at you, man. So, I was talking to one of my colleagues about that the other day. And I was like, hey, man, everything is cool right now, so I got to get some fucking work done. So, oh. yeah, no, it's like everything's good. So, life is good. Mom's good. Wife's good. Kid's good. Cats are good. There's nothing going on right now that's fucked up. So now's the time to get some work done. So because, you know, it's like something will get fucked up in the next six months, year, two years or something like that. So now's the time to get ahead. So, you know, because everything in the decision set is handled right now. So do you think about the 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 load that you carried over, say, like the past five Jesus years? Jesus fucking Christ. That yeah. was stupid. So, but still, at the same point in time, you know, I only got work done when things weren't fucked up. So, you know, finally when things shored up, it got work done. So, yeah. And that's why, yeah, I'm hitting it pretty hard this spring. It's just like, let's get ahead while we can, because something's going to happen. Something's always going to happen. So, you know, yeah, that's fine. At least I'll not have two things hanging over my head at that point in time. No, you're right. I mean, it's, it's weird where... <laughs> Life is bizarre sometimes. Sometimes life is is uh, is very generous. Sometimes it's very considerate. Mm -hmm. Where it's like, 
you know, the last thing I need right now is for my furnace to break. <laughs> right. right. Exactly. Yes. And sometimes your furnace <laughs> will last exactly like six months in one day. <laughs> Uh, just to give you, just to give you a reprieve, and then sometimes you say that shit, and your refrigerator falls through your floor. You know, you're like, fuck, why not? Why not? Why not? Why, why not? not? Why wouldn't why that happen? Yeah, why today? wouldn't? Yeah, it? Like, right. Yeah. Fucking everything else. This makes fucking sense. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like, wait a minute. Did I renew that policy? Fuck. Of course I did. It. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh man, you just you, yeah, you got to get ahead while you while you, while you got a home stretch. So I get that now a little bit better than I did a few years ago. Well, that's that's kind of it. Is is uh, I remember this is something that we've sort of like adjusted on the fly. And I know you and I used to talk about this this sort of uh, this window where we'd say like, ah, oh, what, what do you see is like within five years or whatever, right? And mm-hmm. eventually, I, for me, I was like, I can't do that. That. Um, that assumes way too many. Like I can point towards that direction. Like you know, I can I can set my ship towards magnetic north and just sort of like mm-hmm. uh, try and move the boat that way. Yeah. But if I sit there and just say like, all right, well, this is the trajectory, and there can be no deviations from this. Like that never fucking that works, man. Work. Yeah, I've no, tried that man. so many times. I've I've read that in fucking books and all these other things. It's like, oh my god, it's fucking no. bullshit, man. Yeah, like the best advice that I think you and I have come up over, like maybe the last ten years of having this conversation is number one, don't turn your fucking hobbies into a job. So that's bad. Uh, yeah, it never works out the way so. you think it does, you know. And don't plan too far out because you just disappoint yourself in some respects. You're going to set yourself up for like whatever's coming next. So yeah. yeah. So no, and you did a bang up job with that. You know, I mean, you got that, you got that opportunity to go on the rig. You you got yourself ahead, and stuff like that. And then you know when it it blew up, it was like fine, all right. So I'm ready for whatever's next. I mean, and you took care of like, Kinsasha, you know, like just all right, man. You just took her with me. It, it was it was a no, I know, but still at the same point in time, it was like I remember the time you like. So you bought the Winnebago and stuff like that to actually make that work. Yeah. But then after a little while, you're like, fuck it. You know what? I'm going to take her up there. If they have a problem with it, I'm not going to work here anymore. So, <laughs> you know, and it was fine, dude. So It turned out to be fine. It turned out to be um, totally fine. But if you were trying to plan that out a year before then, there's no way you would have come up with that plan. So Well, of course not. Yeah. And the the, the other component of this, this is, uh, uh, I guess this is where, like, Will and I split is... If I'd have asked them to do that, then it would have been a problem, right? Well, they, they would have, have said, said no. no. Yeah, you just showed the fuck up. <laughs> you know, like, I was yeah. like, all right, well, they're not going to force you to say no if you say no. Exactly, yeah. So, But you wouldn't have learned that lesson if you hadn't spent that time up at T-Mobile, too. So, De- and listen. You know, man, like, yeah, 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 yeah. No, yeah, I know, I mean, man. It all worked out that way. So you can't plan too far out. You just have to set yourself up in a situation. And you've done a beautiful job of that right now, man, where you're just like, Hey man, I work when I want. So yeah. Well, all right, and I guess the other thing is this was the the other part of like the 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 five year plan was like the problem with that is that is that you're trusting the destination. This is the thing is that you're trusting the destination mm-hmm. to be the happy spot. I'm like fucking. No, think... bro, it's a journey. <laughs> it's well, like think about everything else. It's like okay, so. Yeah. I'm not appreciating any of the time that I have, you know, in the present. I'm like, mm-hmm. uh, because it's it's this 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 thing where look, this is sort of uh, uh, an attribute of my father that I can't identify with. Um, mm. Well, okay, so I can identify with it. I just don't necessarily agree with it. Was um, whatever it is, like if it's something that's shitty, it's like, all right, well, plow through it, put your head down. <laughs> Plow through it, and in you know ten years, you know you'll be in a in a happy place, right? Like, got it? Okay, I got it. Um, but you got cancer, right? <laughs> yeah. So did your dad. So I mean, this is what I'm talking about. Is, well, my dad, he made it up mercifully compared to your dad, man. I mean, it murdered him off in three weeks. So yeah, that was well, different. No, but, I got you. But I got you on that one, man. I mean, you know. Yeah, we could have a whole podcast on like 
the sins of our fathers. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, but also like the the legit lessons too. So. Well, okay. So the the problem with that is yes. For as much as I can sit there and say like, all right, take a second and enjoy the the moment that you're in. Right. <laughs> right. But also. That also means that I have somebody in my life that I can look to and say, like, am I being a big fat pussy right now? I think I am. Because I think my dad... <laughs> What's my problem? <laughs> Don't lie, man. I'm sure you, <laughs> you probably see that. But like, like, Dude, I'll look back at 23-year-old Pat and I see, like, you fucking pussy. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I know, man. I, I I see that all the time now, man. And like, it's 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 weird actually, like expressing that to my students now. So, but I'm in the right, just like my dad was. So, but then, like, I'm also at the point in time in my life where I realize that, like, all right, dad, you tried it that way, and that fucking sucked. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> I was like, all right, you might have like held the plane steady and on course for a little while, but there's a mountain over there. <laughs> right. Right. That you didn't see. Right. So but now I can see it. So Well, on top know. of this, like you didn't see it, but you knew it was there. It could be there. Yeah. <laughs> and it was. Yeah, exactly. You know, yeah. it's 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 that that it's as I was, uh, so what's funny is uh normally I wouldn't care about uh, you know, snow in the driveway, but my brother gave me a hard time. So I'm like, all right, no, that's fine. It's like, I don't care, but you do, so I'll go ahead and shovel this thing, right? Well, it's beautiful now. Yeah. Well, you know, and and uh, that's that, that's not the point. He's just like, you should want this. I'm like, no, I, I don't care. But you do, so I'll take care of it. But the thing was, um, so I'm shoveling this stuff, and of course I'm trying to remember how I used to do this back in the day, right? Because mm. I remember the, the times when I'd shovel. I have bad memories of this because, I don't know, I'm just at that perfect height where it just... It's not, it's not good on the back to do this. It sucks, mm -hmm. right? So I'm remembering how I used to do this when I was younger. And what I do is I would just put the head down. Mm -hmm. I would just knock it all out in one like quick go, right? Mm -hmm. As fast as I could, no breaks, no mm -hmm. nothing. And I'm sitting out there at like 2.30 in the morning. And I'm shoveling my snow because this is when I do this. It's mm -hmm. like, this is the fun stuff is like, all right, let the dog outside. She bounces in the snow. She comes, she checks back, and she's like, you still doing this? I'm like, yeah. She'll go run out and come back, right? And I'm thinking to myself, like, why don't I pause for a second? Mm -hmm. And I did. It makes it easier. It makes it a lot easier, yeah. right? It's yeah. like, but that's the thing is, is you know, that's, that's like the side of my dad. It's like, look, it's only going to hurt for a little bit plow through it and, get it and just get it done. Yeah. Right. And then I like, well, that means that my back is going to hurt for like two days afterwards. Right. Yeah. Just because it's a weird motion. It's that, that one. It is. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's just that, that particular spot. It's the same thing with like, I've seen people that can sit there and fucking rake leaves four hours. Oh, in a the row. exact no, same, no motion. same yeah, motion. Yeah, yeah. No issue. But for me, I don't know why it's just, there's a certain like mm -hmm. bend or something. Oh, or like the back of my shoulder up here. Yeah. I don't know, man. It, but I, 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 I think I kind of get where you're going with this because like you know, last time I shoveled my driveway and this is before I fucked up my arm. So it was last year. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, I was doing the same thing. I was like, it's got to get done right away. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. You know, but about halfway through, I was like, well, wait a minute. How often do I shovel my driveway? Yeah. The answer is very little. Right. Yeah. Right. And so, you know what sounds good? I've got about half of this done. I think it's time for hot chocolate. There so, you go. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. I was like, let me go make it. Let, you know, and then did that and. You know, I had a little splash of that, and then went back out, and I was like, you know what? Maybe I should use my left arm on this a little bit. Yeah, because I just never do it that often. Yeah, man. And exactly. It was like, yeah, I was like, wait a minute, this ain't a race, man. I mean, you're only gonna do this so many times. I was trying to think of that. Like the last time I was doing, it, I was like, fuck, man, it's been a two years since we've had this much fucking snow. Yeah, it's beautiful outside. It was sunny, so and it was like, all right, it's getting a little wet. Let me be cool about this. I don't want to wrench my back on this shit. So, but 
like I had the day off and there was like no reason that I needed to get that done in 15 fucking minutes. So exactly. Yeah. And I was yeah. just like, you know what? This is cool. So, I mean, it's not cool, but because it needs to be done. So, but still at the same point in time, it's like, it's not that bad. I was just trying to make it bad. So, you know. And that's, yeah, it's just a, it's a, it's a circumstance of, you know, certain things that I was taught. And uh, sure. again, this is, the problematic thing is that this comes across as, as like, either like, um, <laughs> applying blame, which I refuse to do. That's, that's sure. not it. Or uh, condemning a certain lifestyle. But the, mm-hmm. what it comes down to it is like, it's the same thing I used to, you know, say about phones. I'm like, well, people will tell you to get this one. Why don't you check them out and see the one that you like, right? <laughs> and that's that's the the thing is, yeah. A lot of people are the the first. Uh, well, what do you like? I'm like, what? Well, fuck you! Is so, what do you mean? What do I like? That's not that's not for you to worry about. What do you want, right? right. Yeah. What are you looking for? Yeah, yeah. Take stock of, <laughs> of how you you know appreciate this. And I, I know for me, um, that was it. Was I hate the Patrick the. When it comes down to like regrets, right, and and we all have some, right. Oh, yeah. And this is not to say that you and I are going to sit there and mope about like oh, I could have done this and it's like no, it's not that. Mm-hmm. the The big regrets that I have in life are the times when days, weeks, and months disappeared off of the calendar. Sure. And I feel like I either had nothing to show for it, or just totally spaced the time, right. And I, I know you can think of certain places where like, well, where did these two years go? Fuck yeah. Oh, yeah. Right? Oh, God. Jeff, I can't express how much money I would pay to have an extra weekend with my dad. Um, You yeah. and I would be in a bidding war. I mean, this is... Uh, if only one of us gets to get it... Uh... <laughs> I'll give it to you, man. I don't, but, yeah. I don't know why. I don't know what fucking like angry genie is uh, like. No, no, no. You guys can't share the wish, um, <laughs> right? Yeah. It's like this is fucked up. It's yeah. like, can I wish for both of us? No, no. That's that's. Yeah, that's exactly it. Is man, it's like all right. That that would be super awesome. Um, even just times in your own life where you're like, I was hung up with work yeah, and yeah. wasn't paying attention to any of this I, know, I felt bad about all the times that I thought I was trying to go somewhere, but I wasn't going anywhere. And I didn't spend time with him. Or even my mom. So, And I mean, I still got my mom. So I do you as, do. I do as you much do. as I can with her now, man. I mean, there's a tolerance there. So, because my mom's getting old and angry. <laughs> you so, have a different relationship with your mom. Just like I have a different relationship with my mom. Yeah, no. As soon as it, like, meanders into Fox News territory, I'm done. I'm good. So, yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, you don't, it's not, uh, uh, so, you don't uh, feed someone's delusions, man. It's not, that's not healthy for their brain. But no, it's, it's. I try not to. I mean. It's kind of like giving the cat a little bit of cheese every now and then. A little bit. A little bit. Just a little, a little bit. Because I know if you eat too much of that, you're going to barf it up. Well, it's not <laughs> even that. It's, it's, you, you, you don't know how much of a little bit is until you look away a year later. It's like, you are fat. Um, and that's, <laughs> yeah. that's the truth. I, I mean, that's that's the thing. Those are my regrets. Is is like, it, it just, even for just time for myself, it's like, Fucking, I, I worked in this place for so many years. I can't sure. remember a positive memory. Why did I do that? That's seriously out of the places you worked. Well, do you have one that's like like completely bad? Well, kind of. I mean, again, yeah, okay, because it, it was like in pursuit of the wrong things. It was in pursuit of yeah, okay, sure. you know, stuff like that, or just uh, times where you know, I don't know. I'm sure some <laughs> of the the things like like things like. Like, when you were with the railroad, like, I'm sure you, like... Oh, God. Yeah. Like, the job, but there was also so much of your time it ate up, right? Well, it did. I mean, I didn't stay there long enough for it to actually damage anything that was important to me. Not damage, but... Yeah. I mean, there, there were some other places that I probably stuck around a little bit too long, so... Um, or places that damaged, you know, things that were going on elsewhere, Um but never to the point in time where I regretted it. So I'll put it that way. So, I mean, just to be fair, like, I know that, that certain things, like, when it comes down to, like, liking certain places and liking sure. certain people and stuff like that, it's like, man, if this job paid better, I'd be here until I was 65. Right? 
I, but it doesn't. Yeah, it no. doesn't. It. I've only had one that was like that, so um, that would probably would have stuck around. But you know, other opportunities came up, and I pursued those. But I don't regret any of those things. No, yeah. no. I, I get that feeling. Like if if the airline paid three times as much, that's possible. You'll no, stay there longer. No, the one place that I probably would have stayed was at T. Rowe Price, just because oh. it was interesting work. So there you but go. I yeah. did not like working in a call center. So there were very cool people yeah. there. My boss was way cool. So and stuff like that. But you know, that's when my whole thing like I was finishing my master's degree and I I got the job on the railroad and that left to so many better things, you know, at that point in time. Yeah. But like job wise and stuff like that, like I can think of all the jobs that I've had. I've only had like maybe one or two negative experiences. I've had 16 different jobs. I counted them all up a little while back. <laughs> yeah. There's only been like two places was like, fuck that place and everybody who was there. So, you know. Uh, but the rest of them, like if I bumped into like some of my old airline buddies on the street, it'd be a reunion. It wouldn't be like, oh, fuck, you know. I don't want to see. I don't want him no, to see no, no. me. I'm not know, necessarily. Kind of yeah, exactly. Yeah. And that's 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 not what I'm necessarily saying. But I mean, it's just kind of like you knew it was dead end, but you're like, I'm gonna be here a while. Well, right? yeah, and so I was always a little bit of a restless soul when it came to that kind of stuff. Uh, um, you and me both. There's only been a few jobs where I stuck around, probably a little bit longer than I should have. Uh, because I don't know, man, I used to get, yeah, very restless. Like it was like, I'm not doing what I want to do. I don't like this asshole that I work for, or I don't like these other people around here. So I, I would, I would look pretty quickly. So there's only been a couple times where I jumped a gun on that. Um, but now I'm in a different spot, man. Yeah. Yeah. No, completely different spot. And now that I kind of see the end, I, I see where this train is going. Right. And I'm happy with that. Right. Now, right. we might get derailed between here and there. Who knows? I don't fucking we know. We know this, yeah. It, yeah. It'll probably happen, you know, in some respects. But if it doesn't happen, I'm cool with the destination. No, no, so, no, no, yeah. no, no, no. I'm not saying that that uh, I'm anticipating derailment. I'm just saying I'm that, either, that there's a possibility of... Bro, I've just been through enough of it. I, I know someone's gonna throw some fucking spikes on those rails. Well, somewhere. that's the th you've been through it. Yeah. It's like it happens to trains sometimes. It happens, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, it does, yeah. So the um, question is, do we get it back on track? It's a Who knows? lot of fucking dead cattle. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I've told this story in the <laughs> podcast. Very sorry for your loss. Uh, <laughs> Very sorry for your loss, Mister Sander. <laughs> <laughs> so. Oh, well. I know. All right. Know. We've had a very politics-free podcast here tonight. Much more, like, lifey kind of stuff. So... Oh, it was overdue, I suppose. I, I suppose so. So, shout out to everybody out there. If you're looking to adopt a pet, go get a fucking pet. There you so, go. So, you got a good home. Give your pet a good home. So... Yeah. Yeah. There you go. We'll talk politics next time. It's not going anywhere. There's there's not going anywhere plenty of sure. shit to yeah. go around this week. Dude, we haven't even talked about fucking Carlson's Potemkin supermarket. <laughs> oh, that okay, yeah. We haven't talked about that. We have Potemkin Whole Foods and yeah. we, we haven't talked about the bogus three hundred and fifty four million dollars. Oh, Grace, I, I looked into that. It's terrible, man. He's Okay, yeah, all right. Dude, Kevin O'Leary said the best thing about that. What did he say? He said, all right. Mr. Wonderful said something about that? Oh, yeah, he said, uh, uh, he's this, this is the thing, he said, like, New York put themselves in the worst possible position. He's like, why? It's like, all right, so you're in one of two spots. Said, so let me explain how this went down for the layman. I'm sure you know this. It's like, all right, so the way that these valuations work is mm -hmm. it's a back and forth between the lending institution. It's a negotiation. Yes, he said. And they didn't even lose any money off of it. This It wasn't even the, the loss of money. What he said is like, okay, so the individual is going to put this value. The lending institution is going to have their own value, and they're going to meet somewhere in the middle. Right. Right. He's like, that's how it's done everywhere. Right. Yep. He said, that is exactly how it's done. Okay. And not only that, 
nobody was defrauded in that regard. I know. I didn't even realize there wasn't a tort behind it. So it, yeah. this this was amazing. It's just New York. I, I get it. All right, we need to talk about this at some point in time in the future. <laughs> but that, I, I mean, that was the part where he was just like, <laughs> but they're in the position where either he says, "I know tons of people right now that are shitting their pants because." They well, they're in this, New York. Yeah. They're like, they do this every day. But yeah. uh, uh, Vampire Kathy Hockle said, like, no, don't worry about it, guys. We're, we're, this is a one time case. I'm like, but then that. How the fuck is that actually a one time case if you can do it to me tomorrow? Yeah. That's the. Th- I know. So, okay. Yeah, you know, I know. it's fine. Uh, okay, we'll yeah, I got to buy this. All right, so, fine. Yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs> we'll do, we'll, we'll leave the politics for the next one. So, yeah, that's what I said. It didn't go anywhere. But that's, that is some Still playing The Witcher. Shit. I'm gonna have a while to go, man. I I too. I'm too. playing it. I'm I'm I, in. I fucking um, I love the game. Anyway, we'll talk about that. Okay. Next time. All right. All right. Yeah, let's open up a whole new can of worms. Let's on the not way do out. that. Yeah, yeah, that's smart. All right. I'm Pat. Yeah, I'm Jeffrey. I'm hitting the button. All right.